So here you can see the dam and the water running over the road. That's all, you can't see the culvert. And here we see the dam busters. That's Jim Palmer in the yellow jacket. Bob Harvey with the brown waders, the long tall guy. And the fellow holding the board is Steve Harvey. Now Jim is standing on the culvert here and he's probing to see how deep the water is because there's some question about whether we can actually stand in the water and dig out the dam from the culvert. Don't think it's going to work. So are you figure you're pretty close to the end there, Jim? What's that? Are you on the end of the culvert? Sure. Just about. I'm avoiding that last gap there. So the plan now is to tie a steel cable onto a six foot crowbar and then Jim there can crawl up the culvert and poke it through the dam. At that point we'll tie a smaller crowbar on the end of it and start pulling backwards with a come along and try to pull the dam out and blow it out the bottom of the culvert. We'll see how that works. <laughs> Here he's just tying it on with string and then eventually he also covered it with duct tape so it wouldn't come loose. <laughs> Here Jim is back from his trip up the culvert, he poked the cable through and now he's just trying to find the darn thing so we can tie it off and start our pull. And it looks like he's got it. Crowbar is still, still missing though. Yeah, there he's got it. And there's the crowbar. I'm very glad it did yeah, work out. Yeah. Well, well, <laughs> so I guess we're going to need a tail hold on that tree yep. then. Uh, there's, so there's a chain. You can have all the slack you want there. So now we're rigging the come alongs to pull the cable back and hopefully dislodge the dam. Jim's rigging a sliding eye, and we're going to run two come-alongs. So we'll pull one up tight as far as it'll go, and then switch over to the other one, so we'll always have tension on the cable. So there's one come along rig now and there's Bob picking up the other one. Ah, uh, just two. I'm sure they're aware we're up to something. <laughs> we planted their, their reading, right? We planted their rebuttal. The yeah, question is how long does it take us? Long as we can
I can hear some stuff so giving way. So we've done one pull here. Yeah, and we've got some water coming down the culvert now. But it's nowhere near enough. So we're going to have to set up and do a second pull. Once we get the plug out, there'll be a lot more water coming through than that, believe me. What happened here is partway through the pull, the little crowbar that we had tied to the end of the cable seems to have come loose. So, so, so nothing more worked after that. Now here you see Jim fishing around there. He was going to rig the cable a second time, but then he found this old anchor in the water there, and we decided to use that in place of our little crowbar to give us a better pull. You can see how much the water's gone down, because that would have been up to his, up over his knees before, and now it's just barely ankle deep. He's just fishing through the anchor here. Now we're getting some action. can't see it yet, but in a minute the cable is going to go slack and then a great gush of water is going to come out. Here it comes! There we go. Now that's the water we were looking for. Oh, I see, okay. see there's a lot of force there now. There's a lot of water on the other side of the culvert that wants to come out. Jim taking pictures of his of his results. There comes a big hunk of the dam. That was all underwater before. You can see that if Jim had stepped off the end of the culvert, the water would have been over his head.